Today, we are looking at Oracle's free tier. And over the past few months, we've been testing different ways to set up using their very generous Ampere ARM64 processors. So you can have four CPUs, 24 gigabytes of RAM, very generous, but we are using Ampere rather than Intel or AMD. So you do need to test, make sure that your setup is going to work. Um, these are the four that I've tested on the channel over the past few months, Cloud Panel, Hestia, Webinly, and AA Panel. I'll go through the pros and cons of running each of these on the Oracle free tier using the free ARM processors. Obviously, if you don't already have a free Oracle free tier account, you can head over to oracle.com slash cloud slash free and sign up. This is going to give you access, like I said, to those four instances of ARM compute uh, with the 24 gigabytes of RAM. And that's always free. So much more generous than AWS or Google. But I've talked about this enough. What I want to do is compare those four different setups and just compare and contrast. Now, I've got this playlist in the description if you want a reference to all the tutorials that I'm going to be talking about in this video here. So I've got the Hestia set up there, Cloud Panel there, um, Cloud um, Hestia using Cloudflare on this one. And I've got AA Panel there, Webinly there. So um, those are probably my top five tutorials for setting up on Oracle's free tier. So you can click that link in the description and, and check out any of those videos in detail. First one we're going to talk about is Cloud Panel. The thing I really loved about Cloud Panel, this is the one I most recently tested on the channel. Um, very easy one-click setups for WordPress, PHP, Node.js, and Python. Um, completely free, no limits on anything. It, very easy to add multiple websites. A very good Nginx server with the Redis object cache by default. So this was the only one that had this set up out of the box. Um, so this would make it a nice choice for like large WooCommerce sites or very large WordPress sites with heavy databases, dynamic content, that kind of thing. Very good Cloudflare integration. That was one thing I didn't do in the uh, tutorial was actually link it up with Cloudflare and test that aspect of it out. I should probably do that in the future um, because I really like how they've integrated Cloudflare into Cloud Panel. Um, the major con, I think, for a lot of people would be the no mail server. There's no mail features in Cloud Panel. They recommend using a separate server for your mail server. And I think that's pretty good advice in general, but I know a lot of you like to um, just run a small um, mail setup on your server as well, but um, not possible with Cloud Panel. Very nice, clean, easy UI user experience is very nice. I think probably the best um, user experience out of all of them. Maybe Hestia is pretty similar, but um, very nice and excellent support. I was able to go into their Discord channel. Um, I could chat with the, with the main developer and get support uh, within, within a couple of hours. I was able to do things um, just by asking in that Discord. So a really cool little um, free setup, great community, um, had a lot of fun using Cloud Panel. Probably the thing I liked most was this user experience, very clean, tidy looking setup. And uh, when you first create a site, you've got this really friendly menu here. We can create WordPress sites, PHP, Node.js, static HTML and Python sites in one seamless process. So I really enjoyed this part of it. Also, um, the ability to just allow traffic only from Cloudflare. You can just run this through your Cloudflare proxy um, through the panel there, very easy to set up. So I should test this one out in a future video. I think this is a really cool um, option added to their panel. But again, the major disadvantage is email. Their policy is really just Cloud Panel does not provide email because of performance. We want to keep it clean and lightweight. Um, it's very complex and shouldn't be handled by a server that runs your PHP app. So I think that's pretty good advice generally. I like to follow this myself, but I know if you're only running a little small server for a couple of mailboxes, maybe you think it's okay. Um, but they recommend just use a, use a proper mail provider. There's always Zoho Mail, which is pretty solid for free service. And I've got a tutorial on the channel for setting up Zoho Mail with a custom domain. That's completely free. Um, there are some limitations on it, but um, I think this is better than trying to run your own mail server, especially um, if you're not that skilled in terms of server administration. So I think this is generally pretty good advice. Next one I want to talk about was Hestia CP. So this was a update of the popular Vesta CP. So they took a fork of Vesta and it's become Hestia. And this is an excellent, excellent setup. I really love uh, working with this one. Runs perfectly on the Ampere ARM64 setup as well. So very easy one-click setups for popular apps. So WordPress, Drupal, Laravel, Nextcloud, and a few others. Totally free, totally open source, no limits on anything. You can run multiple websites, um, fast Nginx caching. You can add mailboxes and SMTP relay. So I really liked how they were able to implement the SMTP relay into the uh, panel because of course, 
most VPSs, the cheap ones and the free ones that we use on the channel, um, has port 25 blocked. So you can't run your own SMTP server, but you can add an SMTP relay. And that Hestia makes it really easy. Um, so I really like this solution that they've provided. Um, the panel interface and the experience, it's not the friendliest, but it's not too bad. I think once you've used it for a few hours, it's, it's really no issue. It's a fairly small open source project, but it seems to be quite actively supported. So I think this one, in terms of features that you get for a free panel, this is probably my favorite, I think. I'll show you what I mean. You can actually head over to hestiacp.com and they have a link to a demo panel. So you can actually check out what it looks like. This is what it, it looks like. Um, the favorite thing I like is this quick app installer. So if you use any of these apps, um, in my tutorial, I use WordPress, but there's um, obviously quite a few popular ones here, Nextcloud, Laravel, Drupal, and a few others here that work uh, really well in terms of a one-click setup. And you can easily access things like your file manager and your database as well. So everything you need is basically here. There's also mail as well. The other thing I really liked in the settings is for the mail server, there's also the SMTP relay option here. So you can just put in, uh, for example, your send in blue or mail jet credentials, something like that. And then it will route all your um, email through that external SMTP server. So you can get around any restrictions that you typically get on those cheap VPSs where your port 25 is blocked and you're not able to um, send out outbound mail through your own server. You can use that SMTP relay. So I really like that feature as well. Next up was Webinly. So this is a very lightweight, um, optimized Nginx setup. It's aimed at running WordPress and other apps like um, Java, Vue, React, Node, Angular, um, and a few others. Um, fairly easy to add multiple sites. It is all command line driven, so it's not a panel as such, but it is like a, a script-based automated setup. So it is still pretty easy to use, even though it doesn't have a graphical interface, but I would still say it's uh, more of an enterprise-grade solution. It's aimed at experienced developers rather than uh, beginners and hobbyists. So... Um, uh, the other thing worth mentioning, because this is very minimalist, it doesn't have um, all the security add-ons that other um, options have. So I would re recommend running this through Cloudflare as well as a network firewall. So like I did in the uh, tutorial that I showed on the channel, uh, I run it through Cloudflare and we use the network firewall and Oracle. So it's all pretty easy to do. Um, obviously that con is you need to do all the commands from a Linux command line. It's not point and click, but I still like using Webinly, very good performance, very fast, well-optimized setup, uh, particularly for WordPress. I got very strong results using Webinly. If you actually head over to webinly.com, they've got installation tutorials here and there's got a few examples for setting up HTML, PHP, WordPress sites. They're usually only four or five commands that you just paste in, edit the command to suit yourself and away you go. I didn't really have any trouble setting this up even though um, it's probably a little more technical looking than the other options. Finally, there's AA Panel. So this is completely free and open source, no limitations on any of the features. It's all unlimited. You can run this as an Nginx or Apache server, and that's easy during the setup wizard. So um, very simple setup process. Um, adding websites was not quite as straightforward as it was on Hestia or Cloud Panel. So the experience wasn't quite as simple, but um, was still okay, I thought. Uh, the mail didn't work on ARM64 when I tested. Now, this was a few months ago, so I'm not sure if that's fixed by now. I might um, do another test when I've got time, but um, there's also many, many plugins, but I think they're all working on AMD or Intel, but it's hard to know which ones are actually working on ARM64. So I did have some inconsistent results when testing these. I'll show you what I mean. This is the panel. You can actually go to aapanel.com and, and check out the demo panel. So this is very conventional looking, very um, familiar to people who have used web panels before. I quite like the um, appearance of the panel. If you head over to the app store, you can get lots, lots of plugins. And like I said, there's mail server, um, security um, things and other additional things you can add to your server. So um, some of them may or may not work on ARM64 is what I experienced when I tested this out. But if you've got an Intel or a AMD server, obviously this is all going to be fine. But I'm focusing on this video just on that Oracle free tier using ARM. So I probably didn't have as good experience with AA panel as I did, particularly with Hestia or um, Cloud Panel. But I still quite like this one if I was using a different, um, a different hardware setup rather than the ARM64, but um, AA panel, very popular panel, very well developed as well. So I quite like this one, but probably not my recommendation for the Oracle free tier when using Ampere. 
So in terms of conclusions to wrap this up, I think my favorite overall free solution is Hestia CP in terms of its ease of use, its setup and its features. Um, I did like that uh, SMTP relay option. I think that solves a lot of issues that people have when they want to add email to a cheap uh, VPS, running it through something like Send in Blue or uh, MailJet. You can get s- some basic mail features into your free panel. Cloud Panel, I think, was um, quite good as well. Very clean, very easy to use. It didn't quite have the feature set that Hestia has, but I still think this is a great choice. I really like that Nginx and Redis setup by default. I think this is quite a powerful setup um, when you run that by default. Um, good for very big, heavy websites. I think uh, Cloud Panel would do a good job in those situations. Uh, Webinly is the more professional uh, enterprise solution. I think if you are doing uh, a professional job for paid work, I think Webinly would be the way to go. Probably if I was doing a paid job, I wouldn't be using free free tier hosting though. So, um, but anyway, if you're, you're doing some hobby projects in terms of your own um, web development, I think Webinly is a good way of do, doing that. Uh, AA panel, it didn't feel as polished as terms of the others when using ARM64. So I'd recommend it for other service, but not for that Oracle free tier ARM64 at this point. Um, let me know if you've tried it recently and you've got a better experience than I had. Um, overall um, performance, I think in all of these, I was able to get good performance with all of those. There wasn't any serious difference between them. So um, if you were looking at switching to try and get better performance, it's probably not worth it. I think if you've got um, any of these set up and it's working for you, um, there's no really strong reason to change. If it does everything you want it to do, um, all of these are pretty solid choices. But probably my two favorites in the end is Cloud Panel and Hestia. I think particularly if you're using one of the applications that it has on its one-click menu for Hestia, I'd go with Hestia. Equally, if you want one of those one-click setups from the Cloud Panel setup, I think that offers a really good way of doing it as well, especially if you don't need those mail features that Hestia has. Um, I know Cloud Panel, if you're using WordPress, you could just use a, a SMTP plugin. And a lot of other applications have SMTP features on them, so you don't necessarily need it through the panel. So there's other workarounds besides having... Um, SMTP in the panel. So it's not always a deal breaker as well if you don't have um, that in your panel directly. So I think um, hopefully that wraps it up. Those are probably my top two choices. Um, Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments if you've tried any others. I think someone mentioned Virtual Min. I did try that a while ago. I probably didn't like it as much as those, but um, let me know if you want to see Virtual Min as well because that's one that does apparently work on ARM64 that I haven't tried. So um, anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. I've got that playlist in the description. I'll put it up here at the end as well, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.